Okay, now let's talk about some multi timbral effects. I gotta create some, let's say, well, I'll create three multi timbral instruments. And then I will load up the east west. Okay, now remember, the reason why we're doing this multi timbral stuff is because it saves on space or memory space. It saves a whole ton of memory because these things literally take hundreds and hundreds of megabytes to. I mean, it doesn't matter how, how big your computer is. This computer has 8 gigs of RAM, double quad core, so it has 8 core total. I mean, this is a huge computer, and, and I've had problems sometimes when I have lots of east west. So, uh, to, to cut down on some of that, you need to use some multi timbrels from time to time. So, all you do, uh, we've got three multi timbral tracks. One, two, and three. Uh, let's just load up some some instruments. Now, what we do? Load up the first one. Let's pick percussion next or brass next. You just say add, and it will add the instrument. And let's pick another one. And add. Now those things show up on the left here. This is an updated version of of uh, play. So the the older version didn't do it, but now they do. So you can see an updated. You can see all your instruments right here. They all say Omni. Omni means that they're all going to play at the same time. So I'm going to play one of the tracks. All three of my instruments are playing at the same time. So I don't want that. What I want is to have each of these tracks play individual notes. So on the MIDI channel one. Is I want to be this violins. All I do is change the channel to one. Same thing for this one. Change it to channel two. Click and channel two, channel three. Okay, so now all th all of them are signed separate. One, two, and three MIDI tra tracks. Same thing right here. So now when I play over here, they're all signed to the different tracks where they're supposed to be. Uh, so this is this is how that works. When you record things and you want to change the automation, the volume automation, this is how you do it. Okay, normally you'd think, oh, I just press A and change the automation, and, and there we go. But actually, when you do that, it's going to change all three of them that are associated with that same track. All three MIDI, ch MIDI channels. So watch this. You see all three of them moving at the same time. So if you don't want that to happen, what you have to do is you have to change the volume with expression in the, um, the hyperdraw of the regions. So click on this one. Go to Expression and you're gonna get this and now you can change this separately go to this one change expression okay and here we and this one expression and that's fine now if if I didn't do that let's just take a look at these two I'm gonna make this normal again if I didn't do that, um, and I just use the track volume, and they're different, Logic starts to spaz out, because it's trying to listen to diff two different commands at the same time. You see how this, this mixer is going crazy. So to avoid that, that's what you need to use. You need to use the expression from the region automation in the hyperdraw, like we just saw. And one more thing about the controllers, um, I think I, maybe I showed this earlier, but uh, there's controllers from about 1 to, I think, 127. Here's, I just Google this, and there here's some of the um, most common ones. Most of them are not very important at all, but the first 11 are, are pretty important. For example, the 1 is the mod wheel, 2 is a breath controller, uh, 7's volume, 11 is expression. Um, so just so you know, uh, that these these uh, controllers are assigned specific numbers, and when, for example, when someone's saying, 
you know, there's when they're talking about the difference between 7 volume and 11, uh, those are actually two different controllers in the computer that, uh, you know, they're two different buttons that are different. And so depending on whether you're using 7 or 11 or number, number 10, you'll be controlling different things. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I think that is mostly it. Uh, let me talk about... So we got key switching, we got um, you got the mod, wheel, um, the elements. Okay, if you look at the master, I don't have a master loaded up, but with the master you had all these things loaded up and you can unclick them. With the elements, all it is is just, you have all the instruments still, but only one of them is loaded up, so you can only, so you can load uh, just one at a time, whichever one you want. Um, now this whole play thing is really convenient. You have you can change the reverb, you can add reverb, turn on or off, you can change the master volume, the panning, uh, the tuning. Over here you have three separate options that you can change for mics. Usually the stage mic is on, that's the one like right in, right in the stage. You can turn on surround mics, you can turn on close mics right next to the instrument, and you can change the panning and the volume for those three separate mics. It takes a little more juice for the computer, but you can use them. Uh, here you have some ADSR uh, parameters. And you, here you have, you can use portamento, uh, you can use repetition and legato. Uh, repetition is for when you're having lots of uh, repetitive notes. If you turn that on, it will kind of vary some of the notes so it doesn't sound like a machine gun's going off when you're having all the same notes. Legato will, will kind of um, make the notes a little more smoothly. Uh, round robin, I believe, is when you have those repetitive notes. Uh, there's a certain, uh, I don't know if they use a formula or whatever to, to make them different, but resetting that will just give it a different like formula to, to switch it up a little bit more randomly. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the east-west for the orchestral instruments now. Now, there, there are just some amazing sounds you gotta spend more time on, but uh, I think that's, that's all you need to, to get started. You also have the gypsy. Let me just load up, uh, elements now I'll replace all of them not just the uh, one of them so this is what we have now these have some great gypsy type instruments uh, elements and master same thing master will load up all the articulations that you can unload or unclick and elements will just load a, one of them but give the option to choose from any of them um, these are some chords if you press this button you get the same type of effects to use in a, just in a different uh, visual manner. Uh, down here, you have the articulations that we saw right in the center for the other one. You can activate and unload them and load them, you change the volume. And all this other stuff is mostly just effects. You have delay here, you have some reverb, you have some uh, ADSR going on right here. So that's pretty much all it is. So this is a really, really great um, a library that comes. Um, now the next one is storm drums. Storm drums is nothing but drums and this one also has some amazing sounds. Let's load up Godzilla hits. Now this has a lot of famous Hollywood drum sounds that you might hear. Um, uh, so just take a look. They got all kinds of ethnic ones, bells, whistles, drums, shakers, just an incredible amount. Now, one thing also that you have here is you have some loops. Now, it's kind of in uh it's kind of hard to figure out how to get here. So, let me uh let me try and uh explain how to do this. I'm going to reload some let's load up eight multi-timbral instruments. And then we will put storm drum on all of them. Okay. Now, when you're using these loops, you have to utilize the multi-timbral uh, capabilities. Uh, it's it's uh, these multi-timbral loops are in the MIDI perf multis. Uh, for all you gotta do is let's load up the Urban Samurai, and what it's gonna do is gonna load up, I think it's four or eight or something different instruments on a multi-timbral level. So that's why I loaded up this these many uh, multi-timbral tracks. Uh, in order to do that, after you've done that, you need to go to 
the place on your computer that has uh, the MIDI files, I believe it comes from your, your, your first disc. I just did a search up here in the spotlight and I got this in the music store and it's in the Storm Drums 2 MIDI performances and here's the whole list of all these same uh, these same uh, files. These are just in MIDI form so what I do here is I pick the Urban Samurai and I click and drag into this spot and what it will do is give me regions of of loops, not audio loops, but but MIDI loops. Okay, so just clicking on here, you see how they're all different. And you can see up in here how you have eight different drums loaded. And when I go down the list, the different uh, MIDI instruments are activated by this little white thing. You see how they're all being activated. Okay, so what I want to do is just click and drag this to right here. And now it gave me um, these new regions to work with. And now I can have listen. The great thing about this is that now I can double click and I can change these things you know just like normal MIDI I can I can add them I can change them do whatever I want now it says here 44160 so 44 is the time signature 160 is what it recommends so if I put it to 160 this is what I get that loops works it's pretty nice um, um, gives you a lot of ideas and there's about a hundred of those just just instruments that you can pull in some loops and take a look at okay so this is the east west very 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 nice um, the next thing we're gonna look at is the choirs um, now what you want to do is First thing you want to do is usually you want to load up the word builder. So load up word builder. I can just find it in the spotlight, and that loads up. It's a separate program that kind of coincides with this. Now let's say I'm gonna pick sopranos. So I'll just name my thing sopranos. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Make sure that sopranos. Make sure that this is on sopranos. If it's not on it, the reason why you want it to make sure it's correct is because it detects where in the range on the keyboard. It's going to be receiving notes. So if it's not wrong, so if it's not right, the it's not going to be coming through on the right area of the keyboard. Make sure this is to Word Builder one, and this is to Word Builder two. The MIDI in, the MIDI out. Okay, press OK. All right, now we'll just leave that alone for a while, and let's load up the uh, choirs from Play. Go to Symphonic Choirs. Now the ones up up top here, those are the ones that you don't use Word Builder with. Those are ones that have all the instruments but they use things like uh, they're separated into you can just have consonants you can have vowels I'll just load up the vowel right here you can have effects um, so that's what this top one is for uh, you have ah, you have e, e. and this is DXF and this is a key switch so it has a little a few key switches and it also it also utilizes the DXF uh, technology really really great sounds uh, 